This is a, are you kidding me? I saw this for $19 on freakingspy.ca this morning. This is way too good for that price. Now I picked my up last year for a little under 40. Used a few times, really enjoyed it, but the weather got hot. This is Ooh for Glory from La Tafa. For cool weather, it is very similar or a clone of initials Ooh for Greatness. Okay. And um, so I put it away. Didn't really have so much experience with it, but I saw for that price, it's, it's way, way better. Like two, you gotta say this is two, three, four, five times the smell quality for that price. Uh, way better than 19 bucks, okay? This should charge a lot more than that, maybe 60, 70 bucks. Seriously. So I gotta let you know, whatever you think about the bottle itself, okay? Spray time, my name is Dave, welcome to my place. Just hanging out, talking about fragrance. Let's go. Spray on this dry skin. Spray is really good. The bottle, the cap is very heavy. The bottle is also very, very heavy. Whatever they put in here is maybe it's glass. Maybe they put extra rocks in here. See the plaque on the bottom. This is plaque, maybe sticker on. Sticker on plaque right here. It's not the thin sticker. Okay? It's the actual plaque on top too. So they're not skimming on the, um, they're not being cheap on the presentation. I think it's pretty cool though. Um, you know, it sits very well on the shelf. <laughs> All right, now, if you see wood for glory and you start running away, relax, just, just relax a bit. Okay, this is, this is, um, I think, okay, is this house way of making wood more accessible for the regular people like us, okay? The Middle Eastern, they use a lot of wood. And I gotta imagine their wood, their wood chip, wood chips, and they use a lot of those um, kind of like using incense. It's gonna be a lot stronger. Maybe we call it pungent, okay? Uh, versus the one right here, this is very easy type of, um, more like art styles, right? For the regular people. Yeah, there is some wood right away on the top, but like I say, it's beginner's wood. Let's just say it's for beginner. Okay. And there's a sweetness that's coming through very quickly on top. Uh, even though I can't really detect exactly, discern what that sweet is coming from. But um, it's a very enjoyable, uh, not syrupy type of sweet. I'm sorry, it's from nutmeg. <laughs> I recall seeing some of that from nutmeg, yeah. I had to look it up and um, because mainly the wood is dominating, but keep in mind, it's an easy type of wood. You're gonna have some, that, that, that sweet nutmeg on the top, okay? And um, I, I keep thinking about, if you ever try a, a snack called like salted plum, okay, it's basically plum and they dry it, and um, maybe they added some salt, okay? but. Every time I wear this, I'll, 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 I'll remember that. It, it, there's a sweetness to it, but it's not really too sweet. It's mainly that little bit salty, little bit um, sour plum. I get that every time, not sure why, but uh, maybe there's a note in there, which is not a note I've ever seen in any, any fragrance. So I wasn't sure if that's what it was like, but I get that salted plum, <laughs> a little bit sour, just a tad bit. But then later on, the, 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 the patchouli and then the saffron is going to come in. Okay. Now, this one is tricky though. Not tricky. I'm, okay, what I, what I should say is the longevity is a little bit um, playing tricks on me. Maybe my nose get a nasty to it. I was not able to pick out during the middle of the day. So I'll spray this on a bit of smelly for the first 10, 15 minutes. And then it seems to disappear. But then later on, at the end of the day, I'll be able to pick it up. I'm talking about like after seven or eight hours. And also other people will pick it up on me. Okay, when I wore it, my family actually, you know, mentioned something. Okay, I forgot what they said, but this is mentioned something. I thought, what are you kidding? I cannot smell it myself, but they picked it up. So this one lasts all day, even though I can smell it in the middle of the day, was able to pick up at the end. So I thought it's tricky. And it happened every time that I wore it, okay? So if you ever think that it's gone, you know, it's still here, but to my nose, it's pretty linear. Okay, what I get from the beginning, I picked up 
that the nun made the wood right away in the beginning and that's spicy saffron okay that is very obvious and then as it died down maybe it's not as, as spicy anymore not as fresh anymore but then the 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 smell is profile is about the same the wood is still there i like this one um i keep thinking a lot of time is i get bored of uh you know the because when you smell so many things right you get bored of those typical scents and even the wood okay especially more of an easy going type of wood and we get kind of bored of it get tired of it so sometimes we want to wear something that is a little bit more unique more outrageous right more challenging okay but then at other times i want something that's more easy relaxing that gives me the the smell of the woodiness the wood and yet i don't need it to be overwhelming or, or fecal or pungent okay i need just something easy smooth like listening to easy jazz music and just chilling and for this one i get that vibe where it is wood but it's help it's gonna help me to relax okay it's gonna help me as if i'm burning incense or burning wood and the wood chips and then there's an easy type of uh, incense oh i also get incense a little bit smoky from here okay as if that's flowing to my nose okay i'm just trying to explain the vibe that i get when i wear this it's nothing hard and yet it is actually something that's very relaxing this this wooliness so i'm trying to uh for those of you that is not easy on the wood i'm just trying to give you a vibe what i'm getting from this now you might not um, smell as many wood as i have wood fragrances as i have and you might it may be easy for me but for you it might be just a tad bit difficult but this is one of the easier one okay in case you're thinking about trying this okay now it is masculine uh there's nothing feminine about this and every time like i said i'll, I'll wear it i'll feel it's this is a relaxing easy uh type of fragrance that i yet because of oh it does have a little bit of uniqueness and that spiciness also is there when there's saffron you always give a little bit of a good twist okay so it is in there and there's some i think there's also patchouli smoke incense but all these are very smooth out okay so when you see this this black bottle this gold plated a uh, plaque and you think man this might be heavy duty look at the gorgeous presentation it's heavy as heck and even the bottom you know it's just <laughs> Yeah, they have put the money in here. 20 bucks? Are you kidding me? No, I gotta say though, I bought this a year ago. I bought it almost 40. A little bit under 40, I think. Maybe 35, between 35 and 40. I don't know what is like the $20 version that I saw this morning, but it's still there. I thought, are you kidding, right? But it is the same name. I saw it. So, there you go. 20 bucks. Now, it is masculine. Um, this is a lot more versatile than your typical harder type of wood, okay? So maybe not as versatile or easy as, uh, you know, the um, typical uh, sweet type of scent, okay? I, you just have to put that in mind before you do five or ten sprays and go out. Now, as far as performance, strength of it, this one I can overspray, even with six or seven spray. I don't feel like it's overpowering. I don't feel it's choking me out. Okay, so this one it was still easy. Maybe uh, you know it's um it doesn't actually matter what you know concentration you try to say because if you uh been experienced with fragrance you you find out that a lot of times some EDT is gonna be performing better than some EDP or even so called extra to perform. Okay, it just all depends on on the fragrances. Example like this one is Ted Lapidus. Lapidus per ohm from the house of Ted Lapidus. This is EDT version, but looking at the bottle, you can tell this is a beast and it performs like a beast. It lasts like a beast. It smells like a beast, okay? Even though it's an EDT, it's supposed to be lower uh, fragrance oil concentration, okay? So you cannot just judge about that, whatever they're uh, labeling. So don't worry about that. I don't really care too much about it but i do have expectation if you give me extra to perform usually it's gonna charge they're gonna charge a little bit more then you better give me better strength performance and all okay but um this one just fyi is this <laughs> with that said it, i still tell you it's 
1030 EDP, all right. So it's a little bit higher oil concentration than EB, EDT. Suppose perform better, you know, with a much more oil, but it may not project as much. Those rules, I think, you know, probably we could just throw out the window. Just tell you what it actually smells like and how does it perform. So this one, it performed well. Um, I get about at least seven or eight hours. Even though I can smell it, every single time I spray it, I, I will be, not be able to smell it during the middle of it. I don't know why. I, I don't know why. Maybe I forgot about it and just, you know, I don't know. But um, I'll, I'll have to say it does smell nice. But when I smell it, I don't feel that it, it smells like something that costs over a hundred bucks or a couple hundred dollars. So in case if you're thinking about uh, comparing to initial uh, oof of greatness. Now, I don't have that one. I just have to say, I smelled it a long, long time ago. Not a long time ago. I smelled it before, but it was like at least a couple years ago. So I cannot tell you exactly, you know, how it is. You probably could look at other reviews that let you know. Okay. But that part, I don't. Okay? I'm just telling you what I smell in this $20 fragrance. I think it's worth maybe 60 bucks, $70 for the smell itself, but I don't think this one smell like, you know, some that's over 100 or 200 bucks. Just how I, I, what I, when I smell, what I think. Um, I've been smelling recently, um, I'm gonna do reviews on it, but I also saw fragrances uh, from Francesca Bianchi. I, I have a six or seven bottles of it. Each of them I picked up for over 100 bucks. And this smell, I tried one or two of them. They smell like over 100, 100 or 200 bucks. And they're having on sale for like 60 or 70 bucks. And I thought that one is another. Are you kidding me? Okay. Now that one smells very uh, more expensive than this one. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Talking about all this, you know, <clears throat> all this stuff. But hey, no BS, right? Just all my honest opinion. So if, if people tell you this one smells so close, like initial oof for greatness, that's cool. But just keep in mind from my nose, it does not smell that expensive, okay? I know Wolf of Greenness is very expensive, right? The initial one. So just keep that in mind. Most of the time we get what we pay for, okay? It does smell good. If it smells a lot like that one, that's great. But if you, um, if you just, just lower your expectation, okay? That's what I'm trying to say, okay? That is a good rule of thumb to lower our expectation or else, you know, uh, we might put too much pressure on it. And then when you smell it, you go, wait, this is not as good as they said, right? I'm expecting initial, but it's not. 20 bucks, just remember that, 20 bucks, okay? Now I'm mumbling on, okay, I do that sometimes. Um, I was thinking about the uh, Versace wood. This is not a hard wood. I have some other fragrances that are hard wood. Okay, so I'm not going to compare it to that. But I was thinking about Versace's um, Oud Noir. That one is easier wood. Give me a second. This is what I'm talking about. Versace Oud Noir. I love this one. Um, but this Oud is more purely wood. While this more of a Oud smell. While this Latafa is going to be also the spiciness. This more spicy, more you know, from the nutmeg. The saffron, there's a lot more stuff going on other than oud. Okay, while this oud noir, to me, it just relatively is gonna be more uh, concentrate on the oud itself. Even though it's not pungent, even though it's not difficult, uh, you know, harder harder to use. This one is gonna be more um, complex. They they're adding more other stuff in here. Okay, the little bit of sweetness is about strength about three out of ten on the sweet maybe two or three out of ten it's not a sweet fragrance but i enjoy there's a bit of sweet in here okay but mainly i'm getting that wood plus a spicy nutmeg and saffron in here and that's a very good combo i did not mention a lot of other notes because it does not smell like a lot of other notes okay maybe some incense and um, smokiness but those are smaller part that's kind of all behind it okay so it's not a complex scent and yet they're more um, going on here than like Oud Noir from Versace. Okay. All right, so they're not comparable. Okay, they're like Oud, but in different different ways and direction. Okay. 
All right then. Um, masculine last a whole day for me. Um, so yeah, I hope that's kind of helpful. Though, if you're looking at that nineteen dollars, you're saying, "David, is it worth it?" There you go. I hope that's kind of helpful. Though, as always, see you next time.